Welcome to the Bobcat News. I am Brad and in our show today we will be showing you how seniors are dealing with senioritis. And I am Mark. Here we will also be a look at the now famous Walmart yodeler. Join us now for this Friday, the 13th edition of Bobcat News. Well, it's that time of year again, and the seniors of Madison High School are feeling the effects of senioritis. A common occurrence for soon-to-be graduating seniors is senioritis. This makes it harder to come to school, pay attention, or participate in their classes. Um, every day I come to school, it just gets harder and harder. Just to, like, stay active, I guess, and, like, all the activities and, like, I don't know, like, it's just hard to come to school. There's nothing to do. Um, they don't want to do assignments. They complain in class. They have trouble focusing. Class sizes are smaller. Um, they're checked out. And they look for any reason not to come to school. We asked Ms. Miller when senioritis usually kicked in. Um, really bad after they come back from state basketball. State basketball seems to be the turning point when they're done. Hang in there, seniors. Today is Friday the 13th, and we asked Keegan Wolf what his thoughts were on this unlucky day. Friday the 13th, um, there was a movie once about a guy who had a chainsaw with a mask on, and he would go around and he would chop people up. And there's like a day that's Friday the 13th where it's like the spooky day, and it's intense, and you're supposed to avoid black cats and not walk under ladders. I think it's all a bunch of baloney. It's like total garbage. It's like when your mom, okay, here's a myth, all right? It's like when they're like, don't go swimming an hour after you eat, okay? Or like, pinch your nose, like put your nose upside down if you have a bloody nose. Total myths, you don't do either of those things. Like, I don't know, a lot of people just have like these stupid myths that they believe in. Like, why would you walk around like this if your nose is bloody? Your blood is pressurized. It's just gonna like bubble up like a fountain. <laughs> you gotta pinch it. But when you like have bloody noses at school, these kids like walk to the bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, so no, I don't believe in that stuff. But I want people to, cause it's funny to watch them do stupid things. <laughs> I love people don't get me wrong but I think it's really funny after the break we'll bring you the sports scores from this week the baseball team was no doubt and it was time for homework he hates homework I know he's bright why is it so hard for me he's I'm just trying as hard as I harder. can one in five children struggle with learning and attention issues go from misunderstanding to understood.org the baseball team was snowed out last night but we'll play Hillcrest tonight the sophomore team had Thursday's game postponed, but we'll get to host Rigby on Friday. Golf had their Highland match postponed. Their next match is at the Idle Falls Classic on Tuesday. Track returns from a strong finish at the Boise Relays last week and is headed for the Rigby Invitational today to and tomorrow. Finally, tennis is at Idle Falls Tournament this weekend. Just a few announcements before we wrap up. The juniors will be having registration meeting on Monday after fifth period. Also, tonight and tomorrow is the State Speech Tournament hosted at Madison High School. We will give you an update on the results and we return next week. <laughs> the newest trend on social media is a kid who yodels in Walmart. Have you heard This is what Madison yodeling? students have to say about it. Have you heard about the yodeling Walmart kid? Of course. He's freaking lit. What do you know about him? Uh, absolutely nothing besides the fact that he is currently like a viral hit guy. You know, he's pretty lit. I don't like it, but yeah. So you said you don't like it. If he came out with like an album on iTunes or something, you wouldn't buy it? Most definitely not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, that kid's got some talent. Join us next time on Bobcat News.